Hello and welcome to another Glow tutorial. In this video I will show you how you can easily create realistic looking lace with the help of graphics and maps. I want to create a see-through lace applique on the upper part of the silky strap top. So far it is completely opaque and consists of only one pattern piece in the front. As the applique that I am going to use is not completely symmetrical, first I will remove the symmetrized editing property from the piece. When you choose what type of lace to scan for your project, it is best to choose a version of it that is light and pastel colored but not stark white and definitely not pitch black. You can apply a different color to it later in the property editor or of course even before in your image editing software. The reason why a light colored lace works best is because these types of colors will retain most detail in their height and depth during the scanning process and when being colored in differently afterwards. The lace I have chosen is off-white. I am adding my scanned lace as a graphic. Then I am repositioning it to fit the idea I have for this garment. It will look slightly cut off for now, but we're going back to fixing that later. Before we add maps to our lace transparency, I will use the internal polygon tool to mark where I'd like to cut apart the front piece. Depending on the colors you have chosen, it might be easier to see this way before adding transparency. I am holding down CTRL on the keyboard in order to place curve points as I am clicking. In this specific example, I am not penciling in the outline of the lace, but an edge further within, as the type of processing that would be used in this case would require a thin stripe of fabric on the lower part to be attached to the overlaying lace. Before I cut the pattern piece apart in two, I will place a few maps on the graphic. When I cut the pattern piece, the graphic will remain on both the lower and upper new pieces. Alternatively, I could also delete the graphic on the lower piece and apply the option over seam line to the graphic. When I created the internal line, the pattern piece remeshed, therefore I am quickly simulating in order to have the top drape correctly again. A map is the overall surface of a component in the 3D space. Technically, the graphic itself is also a map, a color map. In Clow we call the color map texture. I've also added a displacement map in order to create a geometric surface feel. The output of this will only be visible in the render preview and final render output. So here, in our quality render view within the 3D window, the side remains flat for now. You could also add a normal map to fake height and depth, but in this specific case here, it doesn't add much to the final output due to the potency of the displacement map. Next, the upper pattern piece should be transparent itself, so I'm creating a new fabric for it and setting its opacity to zero. Don't be irritated by display discrepancies in this 3D window. This one is remedied once I turn off the quality render option. What matters is the look in the render window, as this is our high quality output. I am extending my pattern piece in order for it to show the entire lace. Inside the render window, I can now witness a true-to-life expression of the scanned lace. When I zoom in, you can see that even in detail it looks tangible and touchable. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!